Welcome back, Nail Queens, to my fourth video in my beginner basic series. Today I'm going to cover a very quick, but I hope you guys find it really cool, hack on how to use your full coverage nail lamp as a jelly tip lamp. So if you're someone who's, you spent a decent pretty penny on a nail lamp and you're like, look, I'm not trying to buy another $20 for a lamp that's gonna do the same thing, cure my nails. So I'm gonna show you guys this hack on how to turn a lamp like this one into a jelly curing lamp so you guys don't have to spend more money on more tools. In order to do this hack though, you do need a lamp that the bottom comes out on. You can do it with one that the bottom doesn't come out on, but it is a lot more difficult and if you're going to waste your time doing that, just spend the $20 because time is money. I'm going to show you two ways that you can use your full size lamp as a flash curing jelly tip lamp. The first way is removing the bottom from the lamp and then placing your lamp on the edge of your table so that a little bit of the lamp sticks out far enough for you to stick your hand underneath and then cure your jelly tips. If you have a shorter lamp than I do, this might be difficult to achieve, so I'm gonna show you another way that you can do this and it's great for shorter lamps. I'm gonna take some jelly tips boxes that I have and stack them in a V shape. You can use books or anything else that will stack like this, but make sure you put it in a V shape like I just did. Then you take your lamp and place it directly on top of the stacks, giving yourself enough space right here underneath to put your hands. The elevated space underneath the lamp makes it so easy to put your hands underneath and start curing. So let's put this method to work. I'm going to do what my own nails right here. I have two jelly tips that I want to apply to my nails, so I'm going to do the V-shape stacking method. I prefer this method over the ledge method just because I'm using my desk space and I don't want my lamp sticking out on my desk. It is a pretty large desk. So I'm just testing the space underneath to make sure that my hands feel comfortable and I'm not straining or struggling to get a good angle here. If you find that three little stacks is not enough, maybe you need to make yours a little bit taller. So I'm applying cactus jelly to the underside of my jelly tip, and I'm actually gonna show you two different techniques that I use when applying my jelly tip. And it's really just about where I place my hands when I turn on my lamp. My lamp has a sensor, so it will turn on automatically if my hand is underneath the lamp, but I can also turn on the lamp without a sensor. So I'm gonna show you the sensor application method. So I don't mind having my hand so close to the lamp using the sensor because it won't turn on until I trigger it by getting very close to it. The only problem is that the sensor will turn off if it feels like you're not really underneath it, so it is kind of finicky. So if you are dealing with the sensor one and you are struggling because you're not really getting your hand in there well enough, consider powering it on and letting the timer run while you apply it. So this is going to be the timer running while I apply it. By the way, make sure that you have no gel products near you while your timer is running and your lamp is powered on. When I do it this way, I have to move my hands way out of the way, apply it, and then bring my hands to the lamp and start curing. Since this is a 48 watt lamp, it cures really, really fast. So you wanna make sure that your application is pretty good and solid before you actually stick your hand under the lamp because there's really no going back from there. As you can tell here, my jelly tips are stuck, solid, not lifting, moving, or going anywhere. All right, I hope that you guys found that hack very, very helpful and hopefully very cool so that you guys don't have to spend more money on more products, especially if you're on a tight budget or you're trying to save money or you don't have enough space to store another lamp in your nail room. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting this video, this playlist, this channel so far. I really appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.